Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my top 5 favorite sunscreens for this summer. To begin with, I cannot stress enough how important it is to apply a sunscreen. Whether you step out or not, uh, whether you're staying indoors at home, you definitely, definitely need to apply a sunscreen because it really protects your skin from really harsh UVA and UVB rays and not only that if you want to look younger for a longer period of time and avoid those wrinkles and fine lines and unwanted hyperpigmentation on your face then you definitely need to include a sunscreen in your skincare routine. Whether it is summer, winter, monsoon, whatever weather it is, you definitely definitely need to include a sunscreen in your skincare routine that is a complete must. So if you're somebody who doesn't apply sunscreen, consider doing it and you will definitely see good results from your skin. I apply a sunscreen typically on top of my moisturizer and not in a small quantity you have to apply your sunscreen in a large quantity. They say you have to apply a coin sized amount of sunscreen on your face not a small pea size. So that's the kind of quantity you should apply. You should apply a lot of sunscreen in order to protect your skin. I generally prefer sunscreens which have an SPF of 30 and above. Uh, so in today's video, I have most of my sunscreen with SPF of 50, uh, just one with SPF of 30. Also, all of these sunscreens are from the affordable category. So it is easily accessible and very, very affordable too. So let me take you through all of my favorite sunscreens and let's get started. My go-to sunscreen lately has been the Eber Halal uh, SPF 50 Invisible Sunscreen. This is a very very lightweight, uh, sort of like a lotion-y uh, sunscreen which doesn't have any white cast at all. That's what I absolutely love about this product. Generally sunscreens tend to have a lot of uh, white cast to them which looks really really ashy and grey especially on a dusky or darker Indian complexion so this one doesn't have that. I love that about this sunscreen and not only that it just takes a couple of minutes to get absorbed completely into your skin and not only that this feels super lightweight and thin on my skin which I absolutely love and this has been my go-to sunscreen for the summers since it is very very lightweight and comfortable on the skin and doesn't make me feel uh, super thick or greasy on my face. So this sunscreen has an SPF of 50 with broad spectrum UVA, UVB, PA++++. That's a good amount of protection for your skin. This also says it is water resistant so that's an added bonus. If you're somebody who swims then you can absolutely try this one. Of course with the current situation nobody is going anywhere but this does claim to be water resistant and sweat proof. That is amazing. The next one is the Biotic Bio Sandalwood Sunscreen. This one also has an SPF of 50 plus. This sunscreen does smell like sandalwood since it is their main ingredient. And this one also has a similar texture to the Eba uh, sunscreen. It's quite lightweight, thin and comfortable on your skin. This is also water resistant just like the Eba sunscreen. So you can wear this if you're swimming or any other water related activities. So yeah, that's great. Since it is quite thin and lightweight and gets uh, really well absorbed into the skin, it is going to be a very very good sunscreen for summers for sure. The Bio Sandalwood sunscreen as well as the Eber Halal Invisible sunscreen both are great sunscreens for oily skin types as well as for dusky complexion since they both have zero white cast which is perfect and it gives a soft matte finish on the skin so it is great for oily skin like I mentioned. The next sunscreen is the Neutrogena Dry Touch Sunblock. This also has SPF of 50 plus which is great. This is also water resistant just like the other two so if you are doing any other uh, water related activity this is going to be great. The texture of this sunblock is slightly creamier than the other two that I showed you. Uh, this also gives a bit of a dewy finish onto your skin but it's not too greasy as well. It does add a clean 
dewy finish on your skin also this sunblock does give me a bit of uh, white cast as soon as i apply it but if i give it some time for about 15 20 minutes then the white cast does fade away but initially you will see a little bit of the white cast as soon as you apply this this is a very very popular sunscreen in the indian market and i truly get it it's a good good sunscreen even though i have an oily skin type i do like that slight bit of dewiness on my skin if you have a drier skin type i think you will really like this sunscreen because of the dewy finish that this gives but even though i have an oilier skin type i do enjoy using the neutrogena dry touch uh, sunscreen on myself as well the next one is the la shield mineral sunscreen gel again this one has an spf of 50 the texture of this sunscreen is also like a milky uh, lotion-y texture it's very lightweight and gets absorbed into the skin very well but again this one also has a bit of that white cast you need to give it some 15 minutes to rest and completely get absorbed into your skin to avoid that white cast completely and this one has to be the most affordable sunscreen that i'm showing you in today's video but uh, la shield does make some really good sunscreens i have tried some of the sunscreens uh, of theirs in the past and i have completely loved them again the finish of this sunscreen is not completely matte this also has that dewy finish to it so if you are somebody uh, with a dry skin type you will absolutely like this sunscreen and this sunscreen is not water resistant like the other one so you cannot wear this if you are doing any other water related activity but this sunscreen does have a good amount of sun protection and also it is very very affordable Last but not the least, I have the Sugar Cosmetics Grand Finale SPF 30 Setting Mist. I was really looking for a sunscreen in a spray form because uh, if you have your makeup applied onto your face and if you're wearing it for an entire day, you cannot reapply a sunscreen on top of your makeup. So this kind of a sunscreen with a spray format is gonna really help you to reapply your sunscreen throughout the day. So it is perfect to retouch and reapply your sunscreen throughout the day if you're wearing any makeup. I put this in my handbag whenever I'm going out or traveling just to reapply my sunscreen um, throughout the day. This one has an SPF of 30 which is great as well to protect your skin from the sun. When you spray this onto your face, it does feel really uh, cool and soothing on the skin. So that's something I like about this sunscreen as well. And this mist doesn't have any sort of white cast to it which is great. You can apply this sunscreen before or after your makeup as per your liking. This does add a lot of dewy finish to your skin uh, just like any other regular sunscreen. Generally sunscreens tend to have that dewy finish so this one also gives you a lot of dewy effect. If you have a drier skin type you will really really like this mist. I don't think there are any other spray sunscreens available in the Indian market. If you tend to know any other sunscreens that come in a spray uh, form then please do let me know in the comments section. So those are my top 5 sunscreens that I have tried, tested and really like. If you have any other sunscreens that you want me to try then please let me know in the comments section below. That's about it for today's video i really hope that you guys found this video useful helpful and also enjoyed watching it if you did make sure to give it a huge thumbs up comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and i shall see you guys soon in my next one bye